Hello there, welcome to Ready for Battle Painting and today we're doing our classic callback, some Warhammer Revival. We're painting Khan the Betrayer. So I've got the model here, the 1996 second edition release and it's an absolute epic model. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some paint on this guy and we're going to breathe a bit of life back into this model and make it look really good. Like I say, I'm just going to list the paints that I use. I'm not going to do a full paint tutorial, just going to show you how I get this guy from this to the finished effect. So thanks for joining me and here we go. So as you can see to start we we're going to remove Khan from the base. What I did, I used uh, a wash of Agrax Earthshade all over the skulls here. So I'm just getting straight in there all over the skulls, getting all in those little recessed areas just to give it a bit of that uh, bone textured colour. So the next colour I use here is Tyrant Skull and this is just going to be a dry brush and I just went all over the model just giving it a good dry brush all over them skulls, catching all those raised areas to brighten that colour back up a bit more. Once the tyrant skull was put on, then I used a bit of screaming skull. Once again, using the dry brush method, but I chose a bit of a smaller brush this time, and I was really focusing on those uh, raised areas like the ridges of the skulls and stuff like that, just to catch all those areas and brighten it up a bit more. So next we went in with corn red and we're just painting corn red all over those power armoured areas that Khan has. I was making sure I got a good coat over all of them. Uh, because, because I went on black I watered down the paint a bit so I did give it two thin coats uh, just to make that colour nice and vibrant. Okay, next I went in with Lead Belcher and this was to pick out all the chains, all the details that I wanted to uh, to look metal, like the power straps around his torso, any chains, things like that, the chains hanging from the bottom of his, uh, in between his legs where the skulls attach to, anything else that was silver, I just picked it out at this stage. Okay, with all the lead belts are done, then it was onto warp block bronze, and this was basically to pick out uh, any areas that I was gonna paint brassy and things like that. So the uh, the edges of his armor, uh, any areas that was gonna be rest like the shoulder pads, the back of the backpack, uh, things like that. So the next colour I use is Andrew Dust and that is this colour to pick out the skulls on the bottom of his uh, chains between his legs. We 
with them a couple of base coats done what I went in then what I went in with next was some caribou crimson and this is just to give a nice deep red to that uh, to the color that was already there so on top of the corn red just went in with some uh, caribou crimson this was going to get into the edges of the armor and stuff like that and really liven that color up a bit more Unfortunately in this part I had a bit of a, uh, a technical issue and crashed, uh, some of my material that I had uh, got wiped so <clears throat> what I did here I just, uh, the video content that I lost I've just done this little piece here just to show where uh, I, put, I did the painting next. So as you can see we've already done the Zandri dust which was the skulls and the back of the bolter, uh, the back of the bolter, the back of Khan's plasma pistol and then what I did, I went in with Agrex Earthshade and this was to wash down any of the chain areas uh, the bronze areas that I've done and also the skulls and stuff like that so then what I did, I used Necron Compound, this was a really light dry brush and I uh, dry brushed any of the metal areas on the chains and stuff like that just to pick them out a bit more and give them that little bit of highlighting that they needed. And then the colour I used after that was Bugman's Glow and this was just to do the skin on Khan's arm. So I just gave it an all over base coat there. Okay so next I went in with Cadian Flesh Tone and what I did with this, we've got the Bugman's Glow on there already and I just went in and picked out all that detail, give it a nice broad highlight on all the raised areas of flesh, taking my time, taking care. So once that uh, Cadian Flesh was dry, I went in and gave the skin an all over wash, but I added a little bit of water to this wash just to, to tone it down a bit more and get it to run into those recesses and not be too strong because I was going to go back in with some more skin tones in a bit just to give it more of a realistic effect. So once that wash dried, I just went back in with a bit of a Cadian Flesh Tone just to pick out some of those raised areas again. For example, the knuckles, uh, the veins on Khan's arm, just to give the muscles a bit of feathering as well, just to make them stand out a little bit more, especially the areas that would catch the light naturally. So once I'd finished that, once I did, 
I, uh, I mixed together some Cadian Flesh Tone and Flayed One Flesh just to add another highlight onto the model just to make it stand out that little bit more really get on those uh, raised areas and pick out the details that we've already done so far Okay, next what I did, a, a bit of uh, Gullum and Blue Glaze, or any blue wash, and I wanted to uh, add a bit of colour to the veins that were popping out of his skin now. Because they've already had some Kislev flesh, Cadian flesh tone on them already, it was quite easy for them to catch the colour, so it really made those veins pop out and stand out. Okay, so after that, I used some Warped Stone Glow, and this is going to go on the eye lenses of Khan. As soon as we finished that one and that layer had dried, just went in with a tiny bit of Scarsnick Green, just to uh, add a little more highlight to those eye lenses. Now the next layer I did was back to Khan's armour, and using Wazdaka Red now, and this is just to highlight all the, uh, the areas of the armour where the light would catch, just to give nice highlights, to add some line highlights to the armour, and it was just to add an extra bit of colour and make the uh, the red of Khan's armour stand out that little bit more. And once that was done, went in with some squig orange just to give it a further highlight and really bring those highlights up even further. I chose orange at this point because it's still it's a quite a muted colour against the red. If you chose something like pink, it'd be too strong and you'd have you'd have an effect that you didn't really want, and you'd have a pinkish looking carn rather than a, a, a very red looking carn. Okay, so we've Khan's red done. Now we're going in with the brass scorpion, and this is going to go on all the areas that we painted warp block bronze, and then I washed them with uh, Agrax Earth Shade. So this is going to give a highlight to all those areas to pick out all that lovely detail.
you might notice now I've stuck Khan back to his base because all the feet I've done all the feet and areas that I needed to do so I've stuck him back to the base and I went in with the next colours <clears throat> and this is Stormlock uh, Stormhost Silver and Necron Compound and we're just picking out all those areas of uh, all those metallic areas that we've done, this is going to give a tiny highlight and we're going to use it very sparingly but it was just to pick out those really raised edges and add some chips to the, ar uh, to the uh, areas of the armour just to pick out more detail and just to make it stand out a little bit more so it looks a little bit worn As you can see there, the Stormhost Silver going on. Just in little areas, just picking out those tiny bits of detail, not using too much, just using little bits, especially on the uh, the teeth the teeth of the of Gore Child and on stuff like the chains on his uh Okay, so the next, what I did was Dark Reaper on all the black areas uh, and the little furs hanging off his his helmet and uh, parts of his armour and the axe haft and stuff like that. It was just to give us a little highlight on that, giving a little highlight on that black. So it wasn't just a flat black colour. Then I used Thunderhawk Blue and this was just to pick out those details that I'd just done previously. Just to give them an extra bit of colour so it's not just a flat black you're looking at. It's actually got, it's like the lights hitting it. Okay, so next we're going to do a dual colour here. I had a Shabti Bone and Screaming Skull and this was just picking out all those little bits uh, on the skulls that were left to do and this was the last little bit that I did here, just finishing off Khan, finishing off these two skulls here and I also did the, uh, the banding around his axe at the same time just to pick out some little line highlights on there just to make it stand out that little bit more. We go in with a screaming skull but using it very sparingly in light areas across the top of the brows teeth stuff like that and with that that's the last one and that's Khan done so now some some glory shots of Khan the betrayer 
absolutely brilliant model to paint. I did buy this model when I had my original Chaos Army. It's such a nice model to paint and it was a joy. So thanks for joining me guys. If you like the video then please subscribe to the channel. I'll be bringing more content out soon and we'll be doing another classic revival. Uh, so if you enjoyed the channel please leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the videos and I will see you in the next one. Be lucky guys.